Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey and in this channel I normally cover tutorials on how you can build your own games in Unity, but in this video, instead of doing it ourselves, let's take some time to look at some great games that showcase the power and versatility of the Unity engine. Alright, let's begin! This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes on just about any topic. Explore new skills and improve your current ones at your own pace with unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes for every skill level. Learn skills related to game development, like the basics of computer science, then learn modeling in Blender by making your very first 3D character, and then learn the basics of animation with all the important principles of squash and stretch, timing, and so on. Being a subscription means you don't have to buy each class individually, so for less than $10 a month with the annual subscription, you have full access to all the classes you could possibly want. With so many classes available, you can learn skills related to game development, but also improve on any hobbies you have. For example, learn how to play the guitar, learn electronics with a Arduino and a Raspberry Pi, or learn how to be more productive in life. Join now with the link in the description, and for a limited time, the first 1000 people will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Thanks to Skillshare for supporting the video and supporting the channel. Let's start off with one of the more widely known ones, and that is Cuphead. This is one of the biggest hits of the last few years. It was prominently displayed at E3 and it immediately caught everyone's attention. Visually the game is absolutely striking. It has this awesome hand animated look like the cartoons from the 30s. So visually it is extremely unique. The game itself is a really nice platformer with some very interesting boss fights. It was very hotly anticipated right up until the final release and it received great reviews. This one, combined with some other games on this list, perfectly showcases the power of the Unity engine with regards to making your game visually striking. It's always a sign of a good engine when it can produce both cartoony 2D games and hyper-realistic 3D games. So Cuphead is an awesome game made by a tiny studio, and now let's look at a Unity game made by one of the largest studios in the world, which is Call of Duty Mobile. It is an impressive display of what you can build in a phone nowadays. Personally, I still come from the days when all I played on my phone was just Snake and some basic matching games, so now seeing just how far you can push it, it is indeed quite amazing. And the fact that you can use the same game engine to make awesome AAA console titles as well as simple mobile games is a huge plus. The game itself is the standard Call of Duty experience, it has not been dumbed down for phones. So you've got a fast-paced multiplayer first-person shooter with tons of maps, guns, upgrades and so on. And visually it looks great, especially considering how this is something that runs in a tiny computer that you hold in your pocket. It has already had over 250 million downloads, which definitely proves that Unity is more than capable enough of building massive mega hits. Next up, one of the best VR games, Beat Saber. I've tried a bunch of VR games, and Beat Saber is without a doubt the one that I've played for the most hours. It's just so simple and so satisfying. All you do is look at the arrows and move your arms. So it's very easy to explain, but in order to understand just how good it actually is, you really need to try it for yourself. The natural progression of the game is something that I find extremely compelling. Essentially, in the beginning, it feels like the higher difficulties are completely and utterly impossible, everything just moves way too fast, but then as you improve your skills by using your body, it suddenly becomes possible and you start to feel pretty much like Neo from the Matrix. So this one also works as a really good workout. When the whole quarantine started and my gym was closed, this was one of my workouts. If you put it on Expert Plus and do a couple of songs, you will definitely be sweating all over and have your shoulders completely burning. If you have a VR headset and you haven't tried it yet, then I strongly encourage you to give it a shot. Even if you're not usually interested in rhythm games, this is a perfect example of a game that simply would not exist without VR. VR is actually something I haven't tried developing myself, but I definitely want to give it a shot. It's very well supported by Unity, so getting something up and running is quite easy. I definitely want to explore that sometime in the future. Next up, we have another recent huge hit, and that is Fall Guys. This one came seemingly out of nowhere and really took the whole world by storm. It's a very fun party game, the perfect way to have a simple good time. Also, it's very simple. There's a dozen different maps, but all of them with very intuitive rules, so it's very easy to learn. It encourages lots of fun mayhem by having tons of players all fighting for the same goal and the punishment for failing is very light. The visuals perfectly match the party nature of the game with some very nice friendly colors. And it also uses Unity Multiplay, which is a service for managing live multiplayer games, and despite the massive success, from what I've heard there haven't been any server issues. Now from a party game onto a hardcore survival game, Rust, this one came out back when DayZ was on top of the world and every other game had survival elements. 
Rust stood out by giving the player the freedom to build their own world. It's a massive game, and when it came out, people were very surprised that it was running on Unity. It has received tons of updates over the many years that it's spent in early access, and the result is a very fun sandbox. This is a great example of the scale that you can achieve with Unity. A massive open world with lots of players and tons of player-created structures and items. And now for something a bit more casual, Pokemon Go. This is what really made people realize the potential of AR games. And just like with VR, Unity is always at the forefront supporting new technologies. There's tons of tools to help you make your AR, VR or mixed reality apps. This game appealed to almost everyone thanks to the Pokemon brand as well as the simplicity of the design. It tracks where you are and how far you walk, so you battle and catch Pokemon just by walking around. There's also gyms and shops in physical locations in the real world. And also the egg mechanic, which requires you to take a ton of steps in order to hatch the egg. So it's a really interesting game that has tons of mechanics to encourage you to explore the real world around you. It's a great example of the potential of AR, and I look forward to seeing more experiences like this happening in the years to come. One really complex game made in Unity is RimWorld. It's an excellent colony simulator. You have a massive randomly generated world where you pick the starting point for your colony. Then you get a bunch of random colonists, all with different skills, names and personalities. So it really is that kind of game where it will never ever be the same. It features base building, combat, exploration, research and tons of things. It's the kind of game that people can play for thousands upon thousands of hours. Also features a very robust modding support with a massive community that makes mods to completely rework the original game and make it into something completely different. So this game is a great example and greatly showcases how you can make really complex games in Unity that are really engaging and fun to play. Now for another relatively recent mega hit, Untitled Goose Game. It has the perfect concept and art style. Essentially you play as a goose and annoy humans by doing a whole bunch of tasks. It's very easy to understand and it has a strange but very effective appeal. The name itself is a great example of how indie hits can happen nowadays. The game was first shown in random GIFs while in very early development, and since those GIFs spread like wildfire and gathered millions of views, eventually the name Untitled Goose Game stuck. So it's a really interesting example of finding massive success with low budget in the marketing. All you have to do is make a game with an interesting concept and make it visually striking and then see how people react to animated GIFs. If people respond well, then you already have a very good indication that your game is on the path to success. For another excellent game made in Unity, there's Subnautica. It's a very unique game in that it is entirely based on being underwater. It features survival elements, crafting, exploration and more. All of it in a massive open world that is completely different from everything else. It's another example of a game that had an excellent early access journey over several years and was greatly improved thanks to feedback from the community. Also features VR support if you really want to immerse yourself in this underwater experience. So if you're looking for a very, very unique survival crafting game with a large open world, then this one is for you. And lastly, for the game that actually gave me the idea for this video, which is Ori and the Blind Forest, as well as its sequel. A while ago, as I was playing both Ori games, and pretty much all the time that I was playing, I was constantly in awe at just how gorgeous these games are. You could essentially take any still from this game and turn it into a wallpaper. This is really one of the best looking games ever made. It has excellent use of both 2D and 3D along with tons of post-processing and lighting effects in order to make a really, really gorgeous game. And the gameplay itself is also great. It's a Metroidvania platformer with very tight controls, a large world and tons of upgrades. If you're looking to get better on how to make gorgeous 2D games, I would definitely recommend you study this game extensively. The way they group together sprites with splines and shader animations mixed with some 3D elements really makes for a great looking game. Alright, so as you can see from all of these awesome games, the Unity engine is really practically limitless. You can build anything that you can think of. You can build small focused games like the Untitled Goose game, or massive AAA games like Call of Duty Mobile. You can make games with simple visuals like Fall Guys, or you can go really complex like the gorgeous Ori games. So I hope these games inspire you and convince you that anything is possible with the engine. The only limitation is really just your own skills and your imagination. This was really interesting to look at and see all the popular games that were made in Unity, so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a part 2 with even more awesome games made in Unity. Don't forget, for a limited time, the first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Alright, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time!